I like to plan ahead and make proactive choices to work my plan. Based on what I know of CSU students, you appreciate planning and proactivity too. Right now, we live in a maddening world for people like us. As a college president, a lot of governmental officials, federal and state, seem to be more in charge of what happens at CSU than I am. So what's the plan for Clark Summit University? Uh, maybe you've listened to other college presidents. You may have heard a range of strong responses, which are then quickly qualified to make it clear that the president understands that the government and the regulators make the final call and that he really does care about the health of his students and community. So while questions still exist as far as what's going to happen nationally in the Commonwealth, I want you to know what we're planning for your fall semester at CSU. We intend to welcome our on-campus students back to Clark Summit in August. We believe there is no better place for a college-age young person to be than on the campus of Clark Summit University. We certainly plan to comply with government requirements that will be in place because we remain committed to the well-being of our students and to our surrounding community. So how's that going to work? Well, right now we're developing plans for every contingency we can imagine for the myriad of opening scenarios that we might be required to implement. We don't know what they might be, and neither does the president, the governor, or the Pennsylvania Department of Education. I mean, we're dealing with a virus. I mean, think about some of the hallmarks of a CSU education to see how this could work, though. Our students have always benefited from low student-teacher ratios, small class sizes, and our beautiful campus with plenty of room for us all. We can develop a range of possibilities that will work to your advantage in safely opening our regular on-campus programs in the fall. We have room for safe social distancing, and we will put procedures in place, everything necessary, to keep our students and our employees and our community safe while we continue to prepare our students to become Christ-centered, career-ready graduates. I started out by saying as a college president, a lot of government officials seem to be in charge of what might happen at my college in the fall. True enough, but that's really the way it always is. And the Bible teaches clearly and repeatedly that those officials govern in ways we don't fully comprehend under God's sovereign rule. That's why Paul told us to pray for them. We need to pray for those officials more and probably second guess and criticize them less. God promises to use any situation in our lives, and that would include a virus, as means for us to know his son Jesus more fully if we implement his word in these situations. So God willing, we look forward to seeing you in August on campus. Stay tuned. We'll let you know more as we know more. We will make this work, and you'll make progress towards your goals.